Hey Internet, hey YouTube, this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan, please never call me Nathaniel. And uh, I'm going to jump right into the solution here, because uh, I know a lot of people get really annoyed by all of these thumbnails. In fact, I used one for this video. Um, and uh, very straightforward. To remove these like huge clickbait thumbnails, you know, with the big oh and all that kind of stuff, um, go into Google. You can search for uh, clickbait thumbnail extension. Uh, I've also linked a couple of them in the description of this video. Um, the only ones that I've been able to find so far are for Chrome and for Firefox, but basically you install these uh, extensions, activate them, and then what you'll see is all of those clickbait thumbnails are gone. Done. Easy. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> If you're still watching and you want to understand how this is working, it's pretty straightforward. Whenever you create a YouTube video and you uh, go to publish it, you have to fill out all of the information around the YouTube video. You put in a title, you put in a description, and YouTube uh, will actually default a thumbnail for your video uh, based on a clip or a screenshot from the video itself. So it just randomly grabs a screen capture from your video and that becomes the default thumbnail. Uh, of course, that's not normally what you see. Normally what you see are these custom thumbnails. So someone will go in to Photoshop or a similar tool, they will create their own thumbnail and then they will replace the default thumbnail with this custom thumbnail. That's what you're normally seeing. So what these extensions do is they force uh, the YouTube page rather than displaying that custom thumbnail, it's going to replace all the thumbnails with the default thumbnail. So what you'll see is rather than having a whole bunch of these like, you know, big clickbaity thumbnails, you're going to see a small clip from the video in place of it. So why, why do we see this like advent of clickbait thumbnails, clickbait titles? It's pretty straightforward. Uh, one, humans are hardwired <laughs> to <laughs> Uh, to look for things that look shocking or scary, um, sexy, like any of those like heightened emotions trigger a response in us. And so when we see thumbnails like that, uh, someone's face doing that, there's a chemical reaction in your brain uh, that gets you to want to click on it. Um, and I mean, not everybody does this. Some people have a little bit, um, they, they have like a kind of self-filtering that they don't just react on those clicks but most people they see something shocking like that and they can get into the YouTube hole and just watch a whole bunch of random YouTube videos they never expected to watch uh, because of this brain chemical reaction uh, of seeing some type of heightened emotion that's why uh, the most clickbaity the most clicked on videos typically are ones where you have a picture of somebody with an extreme emotion, either shock or crying or whatever, right? So something like that's gonna gonna trigger that response. Um, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of studies. I'll link to some videos that kind of cover this in more detail. Um, but it no, it, it's been shown to work. And uh, if you want, as a YouTuber, you know, I I'm pretty small. I don't typically do this kind of stuff. Uh, I might in the future because um, certainly there's a case to be made that it's a good way to get a lot of clicks. And then whatever what ends up happening is that a lot of these videos from a long time ago or even from the last couple of years that made it really big, YouTube uses those as standards when uh, using its algorithm to promote future videos. So it's this kind of like self-fulfilling prophecy or where these clickbaity titles tend to be the ones that get clicked on and watched, which means that they then feed YouTube's algorithm, promoting more videos which have more clickbaity titles. <laughs> and, and so if you want to get your videos out there, one of the ways you can do that is by making clickbaity titles and thumbnails. Um, so that's the background behind it. Um, but that's basically it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like. Um, I can't say I'm going to make a lot of content like this. It's certainly out of the norm for me. But uh, if you want to check out my other videos, go ahead. Uh, and if, you, if you've been watching a lot of videos, of course, I'd love for you to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.